Hey guys, so ever since I started researching my family history in 2009, one of the most common asked questions I get is, do I have any convict ancestors? And up until this year, I thought I didn't. And I was, I must admit, a little bit disappointed about that because convicts make up such a big part of Australia's history. And so when I discovered earlier this year that, in fact, my great, 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 great grandparents, William Wright and Elizabeth, and Elizabeth Graham, they're convicts. And I'm so happy that I have convict ancestors. I'm proud of the fact that I have convict ancestors. So I'll start with William. He was born in about 1797 in Norfolk County in England. And on the 23rd of March, 1822, he, was tr he went to court or he was tried for stealing horses. And his sentence was death. And when I saw that, I was like, wait a minute, because I'd already found his ticket of leave and whatnot. And on that, it had said his sentence was life. So I was a bit confused about it. And then I actually watched an episode of the Australian series of Who Do You Think You Are? recently. It was season five. And... If, I think it was Lex Marinos, I think it was his episode, and he had convict ancestors. And I discovered that in 1823, up until then, over like 200 crimes were punishable by death, and that was known as the Bloody Code. And in 1823, they in implemented the Judgment of Death Act, and that meant that all other crimes except for murder and treason could have lesser sentences, including transportation. And so when I watched that, I was like, wait a minute, because William was tried in 1822 and he was transported in 1823. So I was just like, oh my gosh, you know, he, he could have come, he, you know, he, I just think he's really lucky that he didn't get put to death and if he did you know I probably wouldn't be here today so I'm just like I was mind blown about that and then he came to Australia so instead of death his sentence was life and he arrived in 1823 on the vessel Surrey so the year after and he went to Port Macquarie in New South Wales. And then in 1835, he married my great, 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 great grandmother, Elizabeth Graham. And she got convicted of stealing spoons when she was 18 in 1833. So about 10 years after William. And she was sentenced to seven years and she also got sent to Port Macquarie and she arrived on the ship the Buffalo in October 1833 and her conviction was on the 1st of January 1833 and she was only 18 at the time so I'm just like she was so young and for stealing spoons as well and so this is the con the convict indents list for 1788 to 1842 and I've highlighted her in pink there but just reading some of these there was a 16 year old girl here who got sentenced to transportation for one year just for stealing bacon I mean well, it just really amazes me how I don't know but it's mind-blowing for me um so they married in 18... So Elizabeth arrived in 1833 and they married two years later in 1835 in Port Macquarie, New South Wales. And then Elizabeth received her ticket of leave. So this is her ticket of leave here. She received hers in 1838. And then William received his... This is his ticket of leave. He received that in 1840. And I believe his 
do, 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 do. And then in 1847, William was officially pardoned. Um, but I also have that in 1842, William applied for land. And I know that they also had to, because they were still serving their sentences at the time they got married, they did have to apply for marriage. And I do have that somewhere. Um, so, yeah, that they are my convict ancestors. Um, I do have their death certificates as well because that was one of the first things I got because I wanted to see if that had any clues about them being convicts. But it doesn't really, except for the fact that it tells me how long they were in Australia for, which seems about right. Um, William died in 1870 and he was only... 70 at the time there was a consider there was about like an 18 20 age gap between them um because william got sent here when he was do, 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 i think about 20 30 something um not sure off the top of my head but and then elizabeth when she was 18 so i think actually i think william was almost 40 when he got sent here um yeah, so Elizabeth died in 1895 when she was 80, so 25 years, 25 years apart. Um, and they had 10 kids together, which is a lot. So yeah, they are my convict ancestors. Um, and I've always heard that a couple of generations before mine, people didn't want to have convict ancestors but I think my generation my parents generation I think we really love the whole idea of convicts and having them as ancestors ancestors um I haven't yet told my my th these ancestors that these ancestors are on my dad's mum's side of the family and my nana died last year so I wasn't able to tell her this, but she has two sisters that are still alive, and I'm, I don't really know how they'll take it when I'll tell them we have convict ancestors, so I think I'm going to visit them in November, but I think it'll be definitely interesting. It'll be an interesting conversation, I'm pretty sure, but I'm really keen to tell them. Um, hopefully they'll love it, <laughs> but we'll see. Um, the other really cool thing is, as of a couple of hours ago I'm starting a new blog with a really nice girl her name's Heather and she runs a blog of trees and ink and I'll put the link to her blog below but she's another young genealogist like me she's 23 and I'll be 23 in November and we're starting a blog it's specifically for young people written by young people who want to get into genealogy and we're just going to talk about our experiences, about our family history, just anything really, anything that will help young people with their genealogy. Um, because I think there does need to be a lot more for young people. And the Next Gen Genealogy Network is also awesome. So maybe do a bit of collab with them, but we'll see. So that's about it for this video and I will see you all next time. Bye!